Hello guys, welcome back to X Mill Gaming. Now this is an oldie but a goodie. This is Battle Stations Pacific. I used to play this game a fuck ton on the Xbox and now we're going to be playing it on PC. I've had it on the computer for a while. I don't know how well it's going to work because it's 17 years, no 11 years old this game. But it's amazing. So it's a fleet um, management sort of game, strategy game. And you can play as either the Americans or the Japanese. And we are going to play as the Japanese. And you can change the course of the war. If you win the campaign as the Japanese, you win. Japan win the war in the Pacific. So we're going to jump straight in. So you will start, obviously, on the attack of Pearl Harbor. And as things progress, you'll get more and more um, you know, units to command. So we'll jump straight in. So this is attack on Pearl Harbor. It has come to this. The Imperial Japanese Navy faced the mightiest foe in the Pacific and to ensure our expansion into Malaysia and the Dutch East Indies, we will deliver a preemptive strike immediately. Commander in Chief Yamamoto planned to paralyze the US fleet at Pearl Harbor by thinking their warship <coughs> is ready to put into action. The finest planes in the Imperial Navy are to take part and the damage inflicted will be great. Glory awaits all who contribute to this daring attack. Okay. So before we start, I'm going to say, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Apparently only about 10%, if that, of you guys that actually watch these videos, subscribe as well. So it'd be nice if we could get that number up. That would be amazing. So usually I would play this with a, an Xbox controller, but for some reason it doesn't want to work. So... I don't think I've ever played this with mouse and keyboard. Because obviously it's an Xbox game. Moved over to PC. But we'll try. Okay, so these are the objectives. You do have hidden objectives. If you complete the hidden objectives, you unlock some upgrades for your units. So the objectives are destroy the planes on the ground. Make two successful bombing runs against the USS Nevada. And make two successful torpedo runs against the USS West Virginia. Secondary objective, destroy the USS Monaghan. Hidden objective... An exploding fleet oiler might cause serious damage to nearby ships. So, these are the upgrades. or well, these are upgradable units. But, we haven't got any upgrades yet. Because we've only just started. So, continue. And we'll just play on regular. Audio might be a little low. So I might have to set that in this have a look at that in the settings. Yeah, it's really low that. Right, so we'll skip that one and I'll I'll have a look at the settings in a minute. December seventh, nineteen forty one. In a war against the United States. Hawaii is the most important naval base the enemy has. It is America's Gibraltar. Any ships heading to the Far East have to stop and refuel them. Hawaii is the key. So graphically, not the greatest game, but perfectly acceptable. It's 11 years old and it still looks pretty good, I think. And it's great when you get into the big fleet battles. They are amazing. And as America deploys her fleet far out into the Pacific, we are starting to find those were the famous co uh, code words for the commencing of the attack. Tora, Tora, Tora. Okay, speed, rudder left and right, mouse up and down, pitch. Okay, let's. Uh, yeah, I can manage that. 
Zero is a terrific fighter. Something the Americans had match. It has a 99 to 0 kill ratio over China. And that's more than the proof of quality. It's fast as Archer. Let me just go into audio. Wanted to maybe that'll help. And let's go to video. Vsync gamma detail. Hi, shadows. Motion blur, we'll get that off because that's annoying. Hate motion blur. Alright, okay. The American pilots are going to be taken by surprise. Most might not make it into the air. That's what we want. Okay, so mouse fire, hold shift to arm secondary weapons, mouse two, alt speed boost. Let's go. Let's boost through. Alright, engine's off so we can uh, just glide him nice and slow. Where is he? There. Boom, there we go. Mouse button three, which one's that? Oh. Middle mouse button, okay. Take out these bombers. Oh shit! <laughs> I crashed. Sorry, right, we can jump into another aircraft. He says. Switch to unit to continue. Okay. So did, oh, there we go. Doing this with a mouse. We didn't actually need to destroy that, but you know, it was there. Oh, I don't like this with the mouse. Ugh. Out. <laughs> okay, so now it is time to bring in the bombers. Yeah, okay. And land. So they'll go back to the aircraft carrier and we'll bring in the bombers. Time to start hitting the main uh, the main ships. So we want to get the uh, objective done, the hidden objective. So we want to take out that one there. Uh, how do I? 
Ah, there we go. See, if we take that out, like I said, that's the hidden objective. So if we take that out, it'll um, cause damage to the ship next to it. Annoying PT boat. There we go. I think that was the hidden objective done. Or it might be one more bombing run against it. Maybe. No, I think it's done. That not done the damage then? That one? You know what? Screw it. We've got time. Let's come back round for another run. Is it done? Is it done for? Is it sunk? I'm sure that was what we're supposed to do for that um, hidden objective. Let's in Nevada. What we're going to do is rain for the magazine. There we go. Go oh, shit. Enemy battleship is on the move. Made two tour se successful torpedo runs against the USS West Virginia. Okay. And away! Oh, that's three torpedoes on target. Boom! 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 There we go. Alright, we need to hit the Monaghan. Oh 
shit. Whoa! Okay, if we send our guys to attack, they should split away from the formation. They should. Where's the Monaghan then? Oh, we're taking some hits. Ah, there we go. straight back into another aircraft. I don't think I took out the Monaghan. Where is the Monaghan? Dowels. Take out that Catalina. I don't know if we got the upgrade, I really don't. Huh. I don't think we took out the uh, Monaghan. I'm sure that was one of the objectives. Find out now, won't we? It was a perfect surprise attack. Bronze, really? American warships were quickly what? sent to the bottom, but also the strike was oh, executed. Balls. Well, we didn't get that. Fuck's sake. Okay, so the next one. A British task force is lurking close to destruction of task force Zulu transport ships. However. They've made two mistakes. Destroy the Prince of Wales, First, destroy the HMS Repulse, no sink battleships them. as quick Secondly, as possible. Okay. So the destruction of Task Force Sulu basically just showed how uh, effective air power was against naval units. Really did dispel the notion that you know dreadnoughts and battleships were the undisputed masters of the sea, and really sort of opened the way for the aircraft carrier. Oh, he went boom, didn't he? Alright, so what you want to do is you want to attack down the length. Of the uh, the ship instead of trying to attack it from the side because you have a lot of bombs and you really want them all to sort of hit. So we'll skirt round and attack them from the rear. Alright, now we turn into it. Turn into the flak. Uh. Oh, come on, turn. Level out, level out, level out. 
shit. Right, a lot of them should hit the target. Yes! Oh, we are getting hit with some flak though, shit. Okay, bombs almost through the arm, so we're going to turn around. Turn round, 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 and line up. I mean, we could hit the Prince of Wales, or... Uh, that other battleship, the Repulse, but we'll go for the Prince of Wales first. There we go. That should be good bombs. Oh, beautiful bombs. Oh. Right, so he is listing, or she is listing. There goes Prince of Wales. Here we go guys, time for torpedo runs. Taking a little bit of fire, but... We good? We clear? Oh shit, no we're not. Shut up. Come on, look out the way. Sorry, guys, dog barking. One sec, guys, we'll be right back. Sorry about that guys, dog's an idiot. 
Okay, so time to destroy the repulse. And you get lower. Oh, and here comes the flak. Oh, no way. I'm losing squadrons quickly. Did that torpedo hit? I have no idea. Yes, it did, by the looks of it. Another nice hit. Right in the center. Boom! Still, they're still uh, sending out SOS. Alright, this turn. Yes, there we go. future of ocean warfare. Gone are the days when dreadnoughts ruled the sea. The future of warfare at sea belongs to aircraft. Now did we get the upgrade done? That is the main thing. Just out at Pearl Harbor, yes, we did. Japan showed her air of might. With the destruction of Force Day, Allied battleship power had ceased to exist in the Pacific. We'll be able to conquer more territories and at a faster rate. Greater East Asia will be united under the flag of the Japanese Empire. Right, guys, so this is mission number three but we're going to leave this one here thank you for joining me hope you enjoyed this game like i said it's a throwback to a game over a decade year old so guys thank you very much i hope you catch me in the next one i'll see you later